What's good, YouTube? So, I'm the one only am in 816. I hope you guys uh, like the new background. Hope you guys can see that. So, yeah, I have to hold the camera, of course, because, you know, we're still recording off the phone. That's why you're able to, to hear me right here. So, um, yeah, guys, last day of format. How do you guys feel about it? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I need to actually sit down and rebuild all my decks, but I'm ready. So, what's today's video about? You already know from the up top. So, Kiko25 was talking about how Tim Play Goldfish was better than Goblin Bird or everything like that. But I've seen some of the comments on that video and it inspired me to make this video because it really messed with me. And it's like, um, there's no contest. Really, there is no contest. Tim Goldfish and Goblin Bird are great in both their decks. Obviously, Tim Goldfish was made for gadgets. It makes gadgets OP. Yes, there's Valor, but now gadgets players can run D Fisher in the main if they wanted to to be trolly to stop the effect Valors. Or. They can play Book of Moon, because look at Tim Goldfish's stats. Low attack, high defense, 2,000 defense wall. Summon it, it gets Valor, Book of Moon it. I mean, you might still be able to actually get the effect of some of the special of the monster, but you can't overlay, but in any sense, you book the Tim Play Goldfish into defense mode, because it's much better in defense mode than an attack with no other uh, monster to exceed with. So there's that. And then Goblin Bird, the reason Goblin Bird is still good is because, yes, it makes the item miss timing, but it's a warrior. You mix it with warrior decks that synchro or exceed some of the warrior monsters, and then there you go. Like um, heroic challenge Exorcist sword, use that in Goblin Bird, and you can get out heroic champion Excalibur at 3,000 attack. You can get out blade armor ninja at 3,200 attack. I mean, the in the respective decks, the choices are endless. Like especially with photon thrasher, Goblin Bird, and then extra or Heroic Champion, or Extra Sword. I mean, you can get out any one of the uh, mo monsters that need a 3 level 4 Warriors, or just 3 level 4s. So, I mean, both cards are great in their respective decks. And that's one thing we're going to have to remember. It's like, like there's no contest. It's like, Goblinburg has a better attack. Tin Goldfish has better defense. Goblinburg makes Gadget timing. Tin Goldfish doesn't. It's a water. So, you know, of course, you know, Abyss Droll is good. And I'm reiterating some of the facts that Kiko did, because Kiko did say his facts. He just um, didn't lay it all out there, and that's why I felt I had to make this video. Because, honestly, and they're both OP in their own expected rights, in their own expected decks. They belong in their own decks. So, I think that's it for today's video. I am the one and only Amity16. Remember to always click the like button, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and remember, there's always a move to make. Deuces, YouTube.